Got your grill, ladies and gentlemen. Even if the Kulad experience back again. In this episode, I want to talk about energy vampires. Energy vampires. So last time we talked about we talked about the priesthoods and how humanity is in a vulnerable, independent state on forces outside of themselves. And um, because of that vulnerable state, our our energies are so easily manipulated, our mental and emotional energies. And um, now what we're seeing is the manipulation of those mental and emotional energies for a um for for an, for an ultimate um outcome, you know. Um, what what I'm seeing is that the George Floyd murder, um, which is it's such an emotional thing to watch. Um, it brings out so many emotions to watch that that man that man get murdered like that um, unjustly for no reason. It that 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 the first thing you want to do is you want to burn shit down. Yes, you want to tear you want to tear shit down. You want to hurt someone. Um, but we as human beings have something called a mind. We have a brain, and um, unfortunately, not all of us know how to know how to use that tool um completely to to the utmost. Into the best of our abilities, and a lot of times, when when we're hit with certain emotions, we immediately react on it. Um, what I'm seeing is everyone's energy being used to bring about totalitarianism. Mark my words, we already got a taste. Of it. Because of the uh, macaroni um, Macaroni debacle You know what I'm talking about You know what people have It was mandatory Mandatory that you stay in your house Mandatory that you Distance yourself from other people Mandatory that you wear this That you wear that Some cities got really ridiculous Actually in New Orleans here where I'm at You could walk in the park The park was still open And you could walk There was people out jogging This had to be the most most free city Maybe in the whole United States Where you can still kind of live a normal life We already got a taste of this With with this thing And now because Because of the murder of this man and the riots, um, because because certain people for political gain want want votes in the future. They're talking about defunding the police department. Like that's that's gonna do any good. What you really need is, is some legislation passed to limit what they can do physically to to citizens. You know, defunding them. Trust me, the, the rate things are going. Um, you do not want anarchy in the streets. You know, it it may seem like the riots are for a just cause, but underneath that, there are people that will take advantage of those situations in the worst way. You do not want the psychopaths out. Able to just uh, impose their will upon you, you and your family. Um, Katrina, after the Katrina, after the Katrina tragedy, um, the fallout of Katrina, 
some of you watching on CNN, some of you go back and watch it. Um, there was some horrific things that went on because the psychopaths in our society had their chance to, to get out and impose their will on, on innocent people without the, the intervention of police. We do not want you do not want the police defunded. You do not want the police dismantled. You do not want anarchy in the streets, trust me. We have to use our brains. We have to use this here for us. Get some legislation passed. And um you know Let's use our energy, our mental and emotional energy to make change for the better, not for the worse. So yeah, energy vampires, man, you know, you guard your grill, guard your energy. It's being sucked from you, it's being used, and you are being tricked into, uh, into turning a bad situation into a worse situation trust me trust me we talked about the priesthoods and their their knowledge um over over the layman and what they don't know and um how they're able to use that to control things they know exactly how to push your buttons you know exactly how to pull those levers in your mind and pull those strings in your heart to make you do the things that they they want you to do to keep themselves in power something else i've seen is is, is the a certain a certain political party kneeling Kneeling in Washington for eight minutes, um, supposedly in honor of George Floyd, like they really give a shit about the men. This is a way. This is this is a way to to gain an emotional part of you, so that they can get votes. Um, I don't know if you know this, but Republicans and Democrats are are basically basically on the same same side of the same same paradigm and bullshit um if you want to fall for that that's on you i'm not knocking you um i'm just i'm just i'm just speaking i'm just speaking on it i'm just speaking on it because i i kind of I kind of know, uh, I kind of know the games, you know. I kind of know the games. So, yo, man, don't let them pull, pull your strings. Don't let them push your buttons. Don't let them pull levers in your head. You know, meditate, pray, however you pray, and however you meditate. Stay grounded. Stay calm. Read, read, read. Read, read, read. Um, we got a long way to go, people. We'll get there. You know, this is my, this is my take on everything. A lot of people have spoken their peace. And, um, don't knock me for it. Just think about it. You know, let's use let's use our brains. Let's use our let's use our heart and our emotions to uh, to gain powerful change, powerful change, and um, positive change. With that, be the myth. It's the liquid light experience. Yo, subscribe to the channel, please. Um, give me a thumbs up. By the way, check out my podcast. You know what I'm saying? The Be The Myth podcast is on um, Spotify, Apple. Please go to my Spotify page and follow me. I appreciate it. Till next time, guys.